Hey guys, so as I'm filming this video, I start university in 115 days and I thought I would talk to you about why I chose my university and why I picked the course that I am going to be studying. So before looking at any universities, I went onto the student finance calculator with my mother and put in how much money she earns and we saw how much money I would get if I was to move out or if I was to live at home and we realised that if I was to move out, I would be poor AF and have to work a lot alongside a university to be able to afford to live and so we decided that wasn't really a feasible option it wasn't worth risking my degree to be able to do that and so we narrowed down our search from the entire UK to just where I could travel to and from on a daily basis for any of my lectures and any studying I needed to do at uni which got us down to four universities which was the University of Winchester the University of Portsmouth University of Southampton and Southampton Solent University. These all then got narrowed down to just being Solent University and Portsmouth Uni because the other two unis didn't really have the courses that I was looking at. I then looked at open days and we'd just missed the last one for a while for Portsmouth but there was an open day for Solent coming up in like two weekends time and so we booked ourselves in and we kind of had a look at the courses that I was going to be looking at and I thought I was going to be coming out there infused about the idea of studying media or marketing. Little did I know, I didn't really want to study either of those courses. They weren't my top choice at all. But I went in there and we had some lovely students talking to us and one of them said, so what's your end game? Where do you want to be? What are you studying for? And I said, I really want to work in social media. I already have a YouTube channel. I upload weekly. I do all of my own Twitter. I have done a tiny bit of graphic design. I'm not very good at it, but I can do it. I studied double media and I just worked in like all kinds of media. I've done print media, I've done AV, I've done radio, and I just love all of the aspects I've worked with. And I want to do more of that. And then I want to have a job doing those things. And she said, great, what courses are you looking at? And I said, media or marketing? I'm not sure yet. And she went, well, I'm studying media and I'm really enjoying it. And we just had a, an optional unit about social media and it was really helpful and really informative. Really enjoyed the work that we got to do as part of that and it's contributing to my degree. So that was great fun. You should definitely go and talk to the media, media team. If you go this way, you can get to this thing, which is where everybody is and you can find them really easily. And so we did, and we went into the Spark and we found the media table. I was talking to this guy, I think he was a head of some kind of department, and he was just like, what course are you looking at? What do you need more information about? I want to be helpful. Um, and he was so helpful, but also completely changed the course that I'm going to be studying. So I was just like, I want to work in social media, that's the dream. He was just like, okay, and the courses you're looking at? And I was just like, either media or marketing, I'm not sure yet. And he was just like, no. <laughs> and I was just like, what do you mean no? That's, that's what I found that I like. And he was just like, and he was like, no, do you want to study public relations and communications? Come over here and talk to Lindsay. And so we did. And Lindsay blew my mind with all of the exciting things that I could do if I were to study public relations and communication. We went to this room where she was going to be doing a talk for other prospective students and nobody else turned up. So it was just me, her and my mum. And we just kind of sat around chatting and she talked to us about all of the exciting things that they do as part of the course and all of the exciting things that you can get involved with outside of the course and all of the things that you can do that are technically outside of the course but would contribute to your degree and it was just so exciting she completely sold me on the situation we were talking about whether I was going to move into halls or whether I was going to live at home and we followed each other on social media and she sent me an email with a powerpoint so I could look at it some more at home she got me to follow the public relations course on twitter and directed me to other things I should be looking at that were exciting and then we were talking about UCAS points and I said I only had 106 and the course needed 112 she was just like apply anyway it could be fine so I'd gone in there not really sure about two different courses and come out deciding to go with a completely different course that was still kind of within the same department but I'm just so excited Lindsay talked me through loads of different facts about PR and how more people are studying PR than journalism and there's less jobs in journalism and more jobs in PR 
and it was just so exciting and I'm so excited, I can't wait. The course that I'm studying also kind of means that going to summer in the city and attending the Creator and Industry Day does contribute to my university course and it will be an encouraged thing for me to do throughout my summers at university and I am just so damn excited. I hope you guys liked hearing about why I've picked my university and my course and I will see you guys next week.